Guys, what are we talking about today? We're gonna take a quick look at the 1929. Not that 1929 stock market crash, the Finch Knives 1929. So uh, you guys know what time it is. <laughs> if you're watching on headphones, turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music. So this came in from Kevin over at Lefty EDC, and I'm digging it. It's kind of what I would have expected to see come out of my grandfather's pocket when I was growing up, if we were doing a little bit of work on the farm. Nice little traditional pocket knife style that's done in a modern format. I'm digging these fence knives. I'm glad that Kevin sent these along. So uh, I don't wanna make this any longer. This is just a quick first day in pockets. Uh, the holiday really impressed me. I'm getting ready to do a full review of it. And this one so far today has impressed me. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look at it from above. All right, guys, like I said, this is going to be just a quick first day in pockets, or as you're going to hear, because I have to reshoot the intro and outro because I was having audio problems with the microphone. So this is that Finch Knives 1929. This is my first day in pockets. Uh, this is an interesting little knife. This would be something I could see at home in my grandfather's pocket with a nail nick and just stuff down in his pocket and you would just open it and use it. This looked like a little pruning knife that he would have used on the farm. Uh, we did have a couple apple trees, uh, I think apple trees and a peach tree um, that he would go out and he would prune and he would you know, do stuff with. So this is more of a traditional knife that is done in modern materials. So this is kind of a throwback. I'm really digging this. This is kind of nostalgic. Like I said, my grandfather absolutely had a knife that looked almost exactly like this that he used a lot on the farm. If I could find it, I would love to show it to you, but I don't know where it's at. So these fence knives are really kind of a traditional knife done in a more modern fashion. Uh, I've had this in my pocket since I got up this morning. I've been carrying it, been using it. Uh, it's a really comfortable carry. Now this is not my knife and it is very gorgeous. This came from Lefty EDC. So I don't think I'm gonna hard use this, but this wouldn't be something I would really hard use. This is something that would fill some of those little gaps. You know, I would use this to maybe trim off a limb or something, you know, if I was out pruning the rose bushes and I didn't have, you know, clippers or something, but this is a very, very comfortable knife extremely well made now like i said all the time when i do these first impressions first day in pocket i have not looked up anything on this knife i don't know anything except what's on the blade so when you guys are watching this i would appreciate if in the comment section you could kind of just leave it as a blind review um, i will do a full review where i look up all the specs but this one is done in a micarta and titanium it's a bolster lock it's got a very short stubby clip point blade um, drop a clip point I'd, it's more of a clip point i'm looking at it here it's kind of in the middle between a clip point and a drop point and so you guys can see that you know when we talk about knives i always forget that these are on here uh because everybody calls the benchmade 940 a reverse tonto and i think it's modified uh but at any rate back to this yeah incredibly well done the action on this is so smooth I had this out only once before, and it was during the unboxing when uh, right after uh, Lefty had sent it to me. And thanks again, Kevin, for sending these along. I hadn't ever got to see any of the Finch knives in person, and I'm really digging it. These are in 154CM, both of the models that I have here, the Holiday and this one. The Holiday, I think, is something that's more up my alley, but this is a very well done. Nice, small knife, a lot of cutting surface really comfortable to get in on it there's no hot spots at all on this it is all smooth and chamfered and really well done pocket clip i can't even feel it like that pocket clip on this knife is just perfect in and out of pockets has been a dream it's not too tight it doesn't catch it doesn't drag it doesn't try to pull your pocket open the micarta and everything's done on it really well i like this the the finch logo the shield being set down in the scale material scale overlay 
it gives it a very interesting look. Now, I'm not sure if that's just something that's press fit down in, or if they put the logo in and then fill it with epoxy and then sand it. This one you can feel a little bit. Um, centering on both of these has been just about perfect. This one might favor the lock scale just a little bit, but I think that's more of an optical illusion because it is in the detent. If I was to be able to pull that out, I think that that is pretty much dead center. All the hardware and everything nice and polished. Jimping is not aggressive. I'm not 100% sure why there's jimping there, unless it's just because they, you know, in lieu of a finger toil, you can get up on that and not necessarily slip. But the jimping is not a hot spot. Action on it is superb. Snaps open, basically a little shake, and it falls shut. Um, I don't see any skeletonization for, for weight reduction, but the fact is with it being a bolster lock, and having these big sections of micarta, it's already fairly light. This is similar in weight, almost identical to my Swiss Army knife, in size as well. Um, this would be something that I think would maybe fit the bill for a lot of the cutting tasks that this would do, uh, but this is basically my favorite multi-tool ever. Video we're gonna do is talk about multi-tools here before too long. Uh, yeah, hardware and everything's really nicely set. Like I said, there's no hot spots, there's no places that catch on your pocket. Just an all around really nice knife. I'm, I'm hoping to have the review done on this relatively quickly because they do have to go back to Lefty. This, the holiday, and then that EMP has to go out to another gentleman for review. So there you go, guys. Just a quick walk around of the Finch Knives 1929. I'm pretty impressed with both the Finch Knives that uh, Kevin sent along. So let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. So guys, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with some of these Finch knives. I haven't looked up price or anything on them yet. I imagine I'm going to try and shoot the uh, holiday, the Finch holiday video, the full review later. So I will start to kind of get a feel for their pricing structure. Um, yeah, these things are these things are done really, really well. I'm pretty impressed. So guys, that's it on this one. Just a quick first impressions, first day in pockets. I don't think this is going to get a heavy use because it is attractive. It's not mine. And I just don't want to... I just don't want to screw it all up. So, guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. Uh, if you want to support the channel, sometimes it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, uh, hit the bell icon. It keeps you up on what's going on, and it pushes the channel up the algorithm. If you do want to support the channel financially, there's a bunch of ways down below. I have a membership tab that gets you in a bunch of benefits, including $5 off per sharpening through my sharpening service if you're a paying member. Check out those tiers, figure out what one fits you best. Um, other ways you support the channel, I have a bunch of affiliate links down below in the description uh, that gets you, you know, they'll link you to things that I've recommended and anything you purchase, I get a portion of it at checkout and it doesn't cost you anything. And the final way is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. I have set up a coupon code for Ember Shirt Co that saves you 10% anywhere in their store. And that coupon code is crazy sharp. All one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp, all one word. And if you send me a picture of you wearing my merchandise, I will put it in a video in the background or just drop it in. So guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. It makes it so much easier to moderate the channel. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.